Right, so, Sunday, October 29th, what have you been doing today? Okay, I, uh, I put this board in, we're eventually going to close the whole front off. Okay. But I had to put that in to uh, put the fuse holder in. Okay. And that's uh, the breaker for the power steering. And then I put the switches in where uh, they have to go yeah the wiper and whatnot yeah and, and the the shifter has to go in here okay and uh i'll just put the battery on explain what's going on there uh I put silicone on here, but I'm not going to close it until it dries tomorrow. Okay. So when you close it, that silicone will press all the way around. Yeah. And then it's waterproof. Okay. But, uh, you'll be able to see the... Okay, so headlights. Missing headlights a, work. Missing a bulb up there still. Yeah, I got a burnt out bulb there. Okay. And the taillights should be working. Okay, let's go check out the taillights here. Look at that. Leaps and bounds. Well, there's all day on this. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, the electrical box for as I'm going here to yeah. feed into. And then... Uh, is it working any better now that you have a brand new wiring harness and everything? Yeah, well, it's got to work now. Yeah. Uh, and this is the cover for the... Yeah, okay. So you were working on something on the inside when I walked into the door here earlier. What was that? Uh, oh, uh, see how I uh, I fastened these uh, cables in? Yeah. Oh, this, uh, these cables are fastened in here with uh, with holders. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And uh, all the way out front. I, I need that that uh, caliper and then I can get the brake done. Eh? Okay. So uh, I'm going for that in the morning. Okay. And, and this, the cab lights, if you go to the other side, I'll show you that the switch is in, but they're not wired yet. All the interior lights work. Okay. But right. I want them on a sweatshirt. Okay. Okay, so Dad is still doing wiring here, and uh, we've got it off the ground here, as you can see. Dad's probably going to take off the skis and do some inspection there, okay. but we still got to put this belt on. We're going to take the skis off, but we're going to finish this belt tomorrow. Yeah. I got to go to XL in the morning and see, because uh, I, I need new tin for here. Yeah. And uh, if you just stand here and take a, a look, I think you can see daylight through here. Hey, just look in there. Can you see daylight there? Yeah. Well, that's got to be covered. Okay. And this is, I think you should be able to see daylight here. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. No, here. Oh, hold on. You know. Yeah, I noticed that as well. It's a little thin there. Yeah. This is what we discovered, guys, when we first started picking everything apart. Everything was held together with old rust. And it, it's, Dad's been working here, and you can see parts of the, 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 uh, paint job in the body and whatnot, like, just melts away. Oh, that's body putty. Uh, and this was the roof was leaking because it didn't have a good seal. Yeah. And then that runs down here and rots the floor, so you got to put a chunk of angle there in it. So. And I should put rain edges here. Yeah. So that uh, snow doesn't come in, and when you open the door, and when it rains, it runs off. So those rain edges, Dad is talking about. It's a little uh, lip that he puts on here, and it mm -hmm. looks aluminum and then it just runs off we've put them on other machines before 
And uh, the, the, the customer uh, wants to use this for touring around, and they're not going to want to deal with leaks on the inside here. The water keeps running in, it'll rust the body right out. Yeah. So uh, one of the other things I'm going to have to do here is actually, uh, ooh, here we go, is uh, talk to the customer about uh, maybe sanding some of this more. And because uh, I think it's going to be cheaper if we do it versus uh, the body shop doing it. It's up to him. Yeah. So that's it for today, guys. And we'll stay tuned for the next episode.